Zell Boy Army got a special video for you today. I'm very excited about this one. The ultimate guide to foot swap deals. I genuinely believe this is a really good promotion with VA with a lot of potential going forwards if this one's a success. I've been looking over what EA have had to say about it, I've been looking at some of the players, some of the ways we're going to be able to earn them, I've got an idea of what I think are the best players, the ones I'd recommend you to get. I'm really excited about this promotion. I'll be honest, it's not most of these players aren't ones that'll fit in my starting lineup, my main team, but especially for people who haven't got the absolute god squads, there's some exciting players here you can get. As far as I'm aware, it seems free, down to gameplay. We've been asking for content like this, content that we can grind away to get. I think this is a really good idea from here, and I really hope people take it on board and go with it. And moving forward, this will mean more and more content like this, I'm hoping. So let's have a look what you have to say. It says here, will you cash in early or wait patiently to get even better rewards? So we already know that you can get up to 12 swap cards at the moment. The most expensive players, Sanchez, Tevez, Modric, cost 11. Down all the way to Balde, Diaw at 2, Henderson at 2. So you can get a few of the cheap ones or you can get one of the big ones. A lot of people are hoping that EA are going to take off the 12 restriction. We'll see if they do that. The fate of your squad is up to you in foot swap deals. A FIFA Ultimate Team event that helps players upgrade their squads in fresh ways through gameplay. It's what we've been asking for. We want content with gameplay that rewards you. Starting on April 4th, so that's today, valuable new squad building challenges, I'll show you these, will be available in foot that can only be completed using one or more swap deal player items. Earn these items by playing various foot modes including select objectives, SBCs and daily knockout tournaments. So, the daily and potentially weekly objectives, I don't have some of these players, they've always been free. We don't know exactly what these objectives are going to be yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they are. SBCs, I can't imagine these are going to cost a lot. They might even be free and just the SBCs that I'll show you. And daily knockout tournaments. So the first one today is to get an, an aggrader. I'll show you that DK2. Foot swap deals, are, uh, foot swap deal player items, are special and tradable foot items with the same rating as the player's basic item. So the Negredo today is just the normal Negredo, but a foot swap item that you can use to trade in. Each item is only available for a limited amount of time, so DKT a few days. All swap deal SBCs are available for the entire event with a range of progressively more valuable rewards in exchange for more foot swap items. Check out some of the cards. See there. Balde Diao, Henderson, Wendell, and we have the four ones, Koke, Payet, Kazola. Seven ones, a bit of Zlatan, Insigne, Werner, and the big ones, Modric, Tevez, and Sanchez. I'm going to now show you some of the ways in game that you can earn some of these. So, first one today. Here we go. You can see here, no requirements, you can earn a Negredo for it. So, that's your first one. If there's 12, going to be 12, this is the first of 12. Just play a DKT, win it, and you'll get that card. Squad building challenges. So there's a special section for the foot swap deals. You can see here, if you have one, you can just get a premium gold pack. Two gets you DL, Henderson, and Wendell. Rare gold pack for three of them. Koke, Payet, Kazal for four. Prime gold players pack for five. Ubrilla's. Insignion Werner for seven. The ultimate pack, which is tradable. I've already seen some people saying they're potentially going to go for that. A tradable ultimate pack for ten of these, completely free. And then Modric, Tevez, and Sanchez, the most expensive ones. So, if you keep it at the twelve limit, a few combos you get, you could get this and a premium, one of these and a premium gold pack. Get an ultimate pack in any of the two players. You get a 7-1, you could get Ibra and the Koke, 
or you could get one of these in the prime gold players pack you could get all four of these players get all three of them premium gold pack a prime players pack there's a lot of different options you've got let's have a look at them I'll go I'm gonna go through the players and say what I think of them and if they're worth getting okay so these are the two players so Vendel good pace shooting's pretty mad but he's a fullback decent passing pretty good on the ball solid defending and that aggression means he'll be fairly fairly strong for a fullback you don't, in my opinion, fullback is one of the lesser positions that you need to rely on. So I would not be putting two cards into Vendel. But he's Brazilian, good league, and a solid card. If you really need a left back, he's not bad. If you're going to spend two on one player, I think this is potentially the best one. It'd be better than the normal Marshall. Six foot, great work rates, four star, four star. Really good pace. Good, solid finishing, pretty good on the ball, decent strength. That is a really good card for free. For most people, this will be a really good impact sub. And it's not going to take much effort to get. So I think he's really solid. A lot of people, when they've seen this Henderson, have been saying he looks rubbish. I genuinely believe in game he will be solid. He's got high, high work rates, decent height, great stamina, good jumping for someone who's six foot. It's just a very well-rounded card. I haven't got Bakayoko's card up, but if we compare this card to Bakayoko's, this card will be a fair bit better, I reckon. I genuinely think this card for two tradable ones is very solid and will fit into a lot of Prend teams. I genuinely think it will be a good card. People might not agree, but I think for what it is, it's good. Okay, we're on to the four player card. We've got Koka. Unfortunately, I don't think he's great value like he's better than Henderson he's basically Henderson who's not quite as physically good but he's better at passing shooting dribbling one of the ways he could be good is if you want to do if you want to just get these players for SBCs to using the prime icon SBCs you could get Ibra for seven who's a 90 rated card then an 87 in coke so you've got a 90 and 87 for free That'll go a long way towards the 89 rated SBCs. Payet. Four star, four star. Good work rates. He's a cam. He's got good pace. Very good passing. Very good on the ball. Decent strength. French, which fits into a lot of teams. I think for four, he's a fun player to use. And he's a pretty solid card. Payet's quite a popular player. I think a lot of people will probably like this card. I think it's a pretty good one. Cazola, he's got 5 star, 4 star, again good work rates, a really solid card, but my issue here, the pace, pace, bad stamina, not very strong, he's very, very, very good technically, but I just think the pace and um, physical stats all let him down in game, I'd like to recommend this card, but I just don't think he'll perform as good as you'd want, okay we're on to the 7 ones now where you need 7 of them, this is one of the ones I just, just would leave. He's got plenty of informs that are probably not that expensive. Yes, this is a right winger, but most people want a striker. I wouldn't go near that card. Insignia. Tiny. Not the best weaker foot, but insane dribbling. 90 dribbling, 93 ball control, 99 agility, 96 pass. be one of the best in the game. Very good acceleration. Not the most clinical. It's a pretty good card still. It's a pretty good card. I think the next one, though, is one that most people will be looking to get if they get in a 7 1. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A strong link to Alessandrini, which is not to be forgotten. The Alessandrini is a very solid card, and you get a strong link now that they're at the same club. Not the worst pace for a card that's. Is it 6 5? 6 5, 4 star, 4 star. Good strength. Be very good in the air. Great composure. Insane shooting. It won't. It'll feel quite quite clunky even with good dribbling ball control because of balance it's a 90 rated card though which is amazing for SBCs I genuinely think this is a good card if you can link it to Alessandrini that is a very good card that can fit into a lot of teams with the Alessandrini card I think people will like this one now the 11 ones this Modric he's not a game changer but he's a very solid card he's basically just hybrid of his team in his normal card very good on the ball 
Very good passing. Decent pace. Okay, shooting. If you want a centre mid, you want that strong link for Real Madrid, this will be a good card. Sanchez, I think this will be one of the most popular. High, high work rates. Good, good skill moves. Weak foot's a bit meh. But other than that, very good on the ball. Very good shooting. Good pace. Very good stamina so he can cope with the work rates. I think this is a good card. It's a striker version of him at Man U. Can link to plenty of the OP Man U players on the game. I think it's a good card. I'd recommend him. He's the one I'll probably get if I choose to go for one of the 11 ones. Tevez. It's a fun card. But just looking at it. It's three star, three star. Not the biggest. Sanchez looks comfortably better. In my opinion. Like he's way better at dribbling and passing. And Sanchez is at Man U and in the Prem. If this was Tevez in the Premier League, okay, maybe a different story. All he's got going Ken Wise is his nationality. I wouldn't recommend the Tevez one. He's fun, and if you really loved him, it's a solid card still. But I would be going for Sanchez. So if you're going for just to get them for SBCs, Ibra and Coke, get an 87 and a 90. And you can, those only cost 11 cards between them. Those would be the ones I recommend. Um, so that is just my general recommendation about the players, what I think of them. I genuinely believe this could be a really good promo. Like I said, it's got a lot of potential. I believe it would be cool if this worked, that on FIFA 19, if EA would do something like this every single month, where there's different players to work towards. I was talking to my friend Jambu, West Ham's pro player, was saying maybe they could have players that cost a lot more tokens maybe you could still only earn 12 a month but there might be like an untradeable Ronaldo you could get Cristiano Ronaldo that is for like maybe 40 50 tokens so it would take 3 to 4 months of grinding and free gameplay to get it but then you'd earn a really good card there's lots of different things EA could do with this I think we've been asking for monthly objectives gameplay content this is a way towards it Please let me know what you think. Drop a like. Share the video, please. The support really does mean a lot. Hope this video has been helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Keep it spicy. It's our boy out.